This is the story of a man who nearly lost everything. A man who nearly lost the rights to his beloved comics. A man who nearly lost his chance at a true and honest we are. A man who nearly lost his mind battling the imposter that sought to swindle him. This is the story of Liquid Chris. What is up gamers? It is ya boy Richard back at it again with another quickie reading. Something a lot of Christorians talk about is how they wish Chris would go back to the classic Chris Chan. Not really knowing what they meant, I decided to check out the quickie. Today we will be covering the classic. The quickie starts out with a little quote here. I've just dug through the dirty half of those bags. More than 10 or 20 of them. Then in a bag of damp ones, I found the shirt. Chris, on the shirt, nonchalantly revealing Barb has hoarded 20 bags of old clothing without even bothering to dry them off. That's, that's Barb for you. The classic is a red and blue, seemingly Ralph Lauren brand rugby shirt, formerly worn by Chris from at least before the 20th of December 2004 to when he became a Tom girl. We will get there when we get there. It's a wild ride before we do get there, though. It was initially thought to be lost in 2014 to the destruction of Chris's house. And this, of course, is referring to the house fire that happened. I think this covers a little bit of that later, but I'll definitely do a video later on on the subject but had survived at the bottom of a soaked and grimy garbage bag full of clothing. Prompted by the financial crisis, Chris went searching for it in April 2017, hoping to sell it to a fan, although no such sell came to pass. As of August 2018, the original shirt is lost. As of October 2019, Chris owns a Mark II Classic, Almost the same as the original, but sporting orange and blue instead of the original red and blue. And that is really a tragedy. Here is the classic over here. You see the red, you see the blue, and you also see white. It is a patriotic shirt. But if it's just orange and blue, that's just the colors of Auburn football. Which, fun fact of the day, is where Bob went to college at. A little cool piece of Christry to know. Here Chris is, modeling it later on. I don't know what the pose he's doing is. Oh, the horror down here. What is going on? History. The earliest known instance of Chris wearing the classic is in the All I Want for Christmas is a Pretty Girlfriend, yeah, that's all I want too, clip. Filmed on the 20th of December 2004, the shirt made many more appearances between 2005 and 2009. Chris wore it on 25th of February 2007 during Christian Weston Chandler's Future Message, very important video in Christry. In fact, it was the first video he uploaded to YouTube. It's also the default shirt for comic book Chris, though the colors he draws in are lighter than the real thing. The shirt made its last appearance of the classic Chris era on the 23rd of November 2009 when he filmed Quick Personal Sanchu Presentation on the 10th of January 2014. 14 Branchland Court was gutted by a fire. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier when I said it was going to be mentioned. The shirt was thought lost by both Chris and his fans until April 2017 when it was found in a bag of laundry that was still damp from the water used to put the fire out. 
the main things that were lost in that fire, not many of them pertain to Chris Stream. Um, as far as actual material goods that were lost in the fire, the main thing from Chris that got destroyed was his Legos. Barb also, uh, I think she lost a purse and just blames it on the firemen instead of the fire because that's just how Barb is. Offered for sale. Be glad I found it. Chris. Following the house fire and subsequent renovation, the Chandlers moved back into 14 Branchland Court. Naturally, Barb insisting on bringing the horde back into the house, even the portions ruined by the fire or the efforts to extinguish it. The laundry room became a dumping ground for a mountain pile of trash bags filled with water-damaged clothing. The trash bags festered for three... <laughs> Three years? Chris, no. Barb, no. In April 2017, when Chris <laughs> sifted through them in his quest to find the classic, the contents were laced with mold. Yeah, three years. It, it's going to be laced with mold. Be glad it still exists. Chris, being naive, failed to realize the health risk. I'll probably have another cold or something. My throat felt the familiar scratchy after going through those bags. A few of them had wet dirt and wall lining in them. Dang house fire. Like cat litter. How, how is a house fire like cat litter? I guess they're both shitty situations. After finding the classic and inspired by the successful sale of the Sonic Totem Relic, for $1,500 dues two weeks before, he listed the shirt on eBay for $12,000, Chris. No. Minimum on the 19th of April, 2017. He immediately snapped a photo of it and then posted it for the listing, not really realizing that the mold growth evident in the picture would not entice sales. Why would it, Chris? He later washed it and posted a new photo to eBay, replacing the original one. So this, this over here is with the mold and the horror I alluded to earlier. Later, he recorded live game stream C-Log 04192017, the shirt, to promote it. Donning the shirt for the first time in years having last worn it in 2009's quick personal Sanju presentation. Three days later, the auction ended at $25,100. The winning bidder did not pay, because they never do. And Chris never learns that they never will. Humorously, Chris fails to realize that $25,100 is a gross overestimate of how much money would be required to repair a piece of clothing, even those affected by water damage. Restoration effort. Beyond help, said multiple tailors and cleaners upon seeing the shirt, according to Chris. Could any of you haters sew any better? The hole was large. I sewed as good as possible. Then I reinforced the ladder. Reinforced the... As in, what, what comes first? What comes second? Chris, what are you saying to me? Is that a sewing term I am unaware of? Is this just Chris being dumb? Who's being dumb? Am I being dumb? I reinforced the ladder with the patch covers. If anything, this not only keeps it as iconic, but marks it as another masterpiece from myself, making it worth more. And if you click the little hyperlink, it just goes to Chris and his ego. And that was said by Chris on the 29th of April, 2017, on his effort to restore the shirt. And let's actually take a look right here. Let's do a big boy zoom and enhance. At the top, you've got a ratty collar. Um, you've got a couple little holes. A suspicious stain right here. Don't know what that is. 
scrolling down huge rip right here and then I think this is just how the shirt is because there's a mirrored one over here I don't know how rugby shirts work and a bunch of holes right down here and it's not good Chris began an effort to restore the shirt on the 29th of April 2017 the shirt has sustained large tears as a result of neglect. Yeah, that, that's going to happen with Chris Chan. He asked several professional tailors to repair it. However, they turned down the job as being too difficult. Undeterred, Chris set out to fix it himself because he's better than all the others. He recorded 90 minutes of him sewing up the shirt and posted several before and after photos to Twitter. A commentator on Kiwi Farms noted the issues with his project. Incorrect type of needle. Patches which are incompatible with the shirt. Not trying to color match the new thread with the shirt's colors. Not taking measures to prevent frays or shrinkage. Not applying the patching to the inside of the shirt. After, quote, a few hours of work, Chris declared his effort a masterpiece said the classic is worth more because of it. At the time of that statement, he believed he had already made a sell on it for $25,100. On the 4th of May, after five days of work, Chris completed the restoration. He signed it using his trans woman name and celebrated the job by wearing it in public. By 2018, the shirt deteriorated. Chris attended too many games with a shirt in June of, the, of that year with photographs of him wearing it at the event, showing the shirt practically falling apart and some of the stitching Chris had attempted to carry out having split or frayed in places. On the 4th of July, he posted Twitter asking for Ralph Lauren's help in either reproducing or restoring his shirt. Chris, it... It's just a red, white, and blue rugby shirt. Like, they make those. This did not come to pass. And Chris would still regularly wear the rapidly degrading fabric. By this point, it would be easier to just buy a new one than attempt to repair. Yes, it would be. What is going on? Chris Chan, explain yourself. Lost. On the 10th of August 2018, Chris revealed in a text message to the Teen Troon squad that the classic was lost by Barb cleaning his room while he was away at BronyCon. Whether Barb's intention was payback for leaving her for the weekend or out of forgetfulness, Chris responded by hitting and humping a pillow, effigy representing his mother in front of... He, he, he did. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Uh, is this, because I've, I've seen the video of him humping the pillow. I didn't know it was supposed to be his mother. Or are there two videos of him humping pillows? That seems like an odd thing to have two of. He would then search for a replacement, which is first seen during the Dimensional Merge announcements video. And that will just about do it. We got some little pictures over here. Sources. This is a relic of foul. Do not think otherwise. This is truly fell worthy. Uh, this is also in line with his business. I like how they have the little uh, dead symbol next to eBay and Etsy. And that will just about do it. See ya.